I've got every reason for you to stick around right now because joining us on the Expresso stage is the organizer of the iconic Cape Townian musical production, Culture Shock. Yes, we're talking about Fakhri Abrams in the building. Alongside him is Rishni Ferguson, who's an actress and choreographer at that. And now they are all here to tell us more about Culture Shock. So let's give them a big feel-good welcome! Yay! 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. How are we yes. doing this morning? Good. Doing good, good how are you? It's early. It's, it is, well really? done. You're looking incredible for this time in the morning, I must say. That's always a... a How's a, my smile? Is it working? On <laughs> point, <laughs> my friend. On <laughs> point. Listen, guys, let's get straight into this because yes. this is exciting. We're talking yeah. about things that my mens are doing. Yes. And I love this. Culture shock. For those that are living under a rock, talk to me. What is it all about? It's all about, like you said, the mens, the mm. people, the tagline, our Cape Town, our culture, our flavour. COVID-19 came along and all of us couldn't compete, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's something dear to us in our hearts, you know? Be, being on the tweet in Ivea in Well Street or in competition or in the Malay choirs on the stage. And then um, Oddball Concepts came up with this idea that, you know what, let's put it online, let's do this crazy thing. And four years later, I mean, even four years with you guys, and thank you so much for being a part of this. And we're now looking, you know what the exciting part is for hundreds and hundreds of years to come. That's so exciting oh, wow. because of not giving up, because of being pure, mm. because of creating that platform. Yeah. And, f and it's so nice to see since then where it's grown to and where it's going and the results that has come from the untapped talent working with the Rushnis, working with our mentors that we had and working with our partners to now have something that is going to be a household name every year that you're going to be alive. Yeah, man, and let's talk about that because, what, it's been four years now? Yeah. Fourth season. Fourth, Fourth season. season. How's that sort of development from your side? I mean, you've got front row seats to the entire show, theoretically, yeah. inside and out. Yeah. How's that progress developed over the four years? Has it gone above and beyond your expectations? Above and beyond, and I think I, I, I post something on Instagram when I came home after the opening night, and you know opening night yeah, goes, yeah. and Rishni shouting at everyone. And wow, <laughs> just throw me under the bus. <laughs> shouting. Please, by all means. Amazing work that she's doing herself and Brett Marvin Edwards, our MD, and you go like, this is a pivotal year because, um, as you know, with the culture, it's so pure and so yeah. deep inside of everyone, and everyone has his opinion. And here we came along, like I said last year, with like the 2020 uh, cricket, of this cricket. Yeah, 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 this is yeah. what we done to, to, the, to the cultural sport, you know? And it yeah. was like, what are you guys doing? So much know that, that the, the youngsters are hungry for it. The people mm -hmm. want to do it. The people want to get oh, involved. That's so that's quite cool. And, and, um, here we go, from choreographer, from a judge, firstly. Guest judge to judge. Now, you said choreographer, dancer, director. Oh, of excuse <laughs> me, whoa! I actually started out, I was invited as a guest to come and watch. Yeah. And then slowly they pulled me in and gave me more responsibility, and now here we are, putting the whole thing together, taking the vision that's coming out of the minds of Oddball and putting it in my hands. It's a little bit nerve-wracking <laughs> to have to take a vision out of somebody's mind and put it on stage, but we do the best we can. But I think that's uh, justified. I mean, Fakhri sees talent in people, and clearly so, and I'm grateful so for that, because look at what we've discovered, look at what's come to fruition, and I think that's obviously deserved of you as well, and the hard work you're putting in, and of course your talent too. <laughs> but the talent for you is something that I think is kind of like your, your, your thing right now, and a lot of what's happening here is developing artists, yeah. it's developing that talent. Yes. It's like you said, it's getting people excited for the gifts that they've been given. Talk to me more about this potential and, yeah, and your passion in this space. I wish that everybody could come and see these guys and women. Mm. By, by the way, I'm not the only female anymore. Mm. We have another, she's going to perform later, but we have another female yes. in the cast. She's amazing. And my, th the thing that I love the most is seeing them go on stage and putting their heart and soul on mm. there. And I can honestly say from four years ago till now, we've got a couple of great people who've turned into not just performers, they are now dancers and singers and actors. Ranks, people have come ladies, up over yeah. in the ranks. People who've started out in the troops are now mentors. They've got their own brands, their own music. They're doing their thing. So to see them develop and grow from the platform that has been created is amazing. That really is amazing. I'm also a big believer in manifestation, right? And it looks like this was something that was manifested from a crazy idea four years in, look where we are now. So mm -hmm. let's keep that momentum. Let's keep yes. that feel. Where do you think things could go? And what do you hope for this production to kind of turn into in the future? Like, what are we hoping no, to get no, from no, this? No, what, no, what more should come? Okay, so 
what viewers don't what viewers don't know <laughs> that you're going to know right now <laughs> is that we've actually been renewed for season five. Yes, well done, guys. We've that is actually brilliant. Been for season five, Congrats. and in season five, we are going back to competition format. Oh, yes, okay. we actually so announced it on stage steak. last night. Yes, so teams can enter, come and compete. There are amazing prizes up for grabs. May I allow you? Yes. There is a 100,000 rand prize. Hold up, I don't think Mzanzi heard that quite correctly. Just repeat that again. 100,000 rand oh. prize. Next year, up for grabs. fifth anniversary. Next year, fifth anniversary. Unbelievable. So if you want to get your hands on the ching, yeah. you've got to enter and show us what you got. Oh, wow, guys, well done. This is absolutely incredible stuff. This is what it's about, having an opportunity and a platform for people to dream of performing, yes. to yes. be inspired to perform, yes. and then to showcase their gifts. That's yes. what this is all about. Well done. Thank this you. is absolutely incredible. And Mzanzi, if you aren't aware of it already, then you need to get your tickets for this event. You can find it at Web Tickets for 180 Rand. It's happening from the 5th to the 9th of December, 8 p.m. at the Concert Hall, Baxter Theatre Centre. What are you waiting for? Get involved in this. This is talent on another level, and this is potentially discovering the next South African sensation, and I think we already have. <laughs> we, we, found, we found a few. We, we found a few. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming through and giving thank us a chance to get excited for this. We've got more performances to even add to that excitement, so don't go anywhere, Mzanzi.